it's me, Axe Canada Dances. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I post new doll related videos almost every single day. And today's video, I'm so excited because we are going to be doing a collection update for my 17 inch limited edition Disney dolls. So if you don't know what these are, every year Disney will release kind of sometimes random, but mostly dolls related to either new movie releases or anniversary dolls. Uh, at the Disney store. Sometimes they're exclusive to things like D23, which we'll get into actually pretty early on because it's the first doll we're going to show. And sometimes they do like other special releases that I will tell you about when we get to them. And these dolls, ever since the 2013 Frozen ones came out, I was head over heels for the 17 inch limited edition Disney dolls, but I was 14 at that time. So hundred plus dollar dolls were not in the realm of possibility. And I got my first one when I was 17. She was a gift from my mom. It's this one. I found her at the Disney store when we were just shopping at the mall and I was like freaking out and my mom was like, do you want her? And I was like, yeah, absolutely I do. And she got her for me. She's extremely special. Still one of my absolute favorites and not just because of the sentimental value. Um, she's just one of the best ones. We'll get there though. Um, so I really love these. I have had to fight to get a lot of these and you'll notice that with my designer collection i'm actually not missing that many sequentially from when i started to now i'm only missing like three i think um other than d23 ones or ones that i didn't like um like i don't like designer fairy tales so those don't count for me but and i did a video on these already if you would like to see it um it's either going to come after this or before this i don't know when this is getting uploaded but yeah i'm pre-filming some videos right now uh but i'm missing some just because when financial hard times hit sometimes i had to skip some and I don't really go for... The goal with this collection is to have one of each character that they release. And I'm actually doing a great job so far, although there are some notable missing ones. Uh, one of them is releasing soon, though. I'm missing a Mulan, and she's coming soon, so I'm really excited. And sometimes I buy these secondhand, but mostly I just bought them as they came out for retail cost. So anyway, let's get started over here with the, the best one. Uh, this is the Giselle D23 limited edition doll. I love her so much. This one was a D23 pickup that the Dolly Paints on Instagram picked up for me. I, I paid and I paid extra and everything, but I'm just so grateful that I had the opportunity to buy her because I definitely paid a lot less than her retail price. But like, oh my God, this doll, I, I, I recommend you guys watch my review, not just because like, hee hee, give me more reviews, please. But like, um, I need you to see all of her details because I can't focus on her too long here. But like, oh my God, she's so fabulous. I love this doll so much. Just absolute gem of a doll. Um, they really hit it out of the park with this one. I think there's only like 500 of this doll in the world also, which is kind of nuts. I do actually have rarer dolls than that. Not in this area though. And then up here, I think this doll was called like Diamond Castle Celebration Aurora or something. There's three in this series. They're not technically 17 inch LEs. I don't think they're limited. I mean, they're kind of limited in the sense that they made less of them, but they're, they don't have like a number. There's a blue Aurora that is better than this one, but I paid $20 for this one on Facebook Marketplace in austin texas because that's how affordable she was because disney cast members could get her like basically for free like because they could not sell out of this doll fast enough uh and they wanted her gone so there was also an ariel that i missed out on um i really like her she was like one of my first aurora dolls ever actually which is kind of funny that it was like one of the really special 17 inch le ones um i mean not that she's an le but you know i love her hair color i really like how it's kind of like what Cinderella's hair color is supposed to be. And then here we have, this was the Disneyland 50? Disney World 50? Sorry, I'm not super familiar with the park. She was a 50th anniversary of something doll, uh, Cinderella. I love her. She's really cool. I love the color of her dress. It's similar to the Premier Snow White. And I love the black accents with it. And she's just a really cool doll. Really interesting release, really cool doll. And then this is Kida. This was the first Kida doll they've made legit since her movie came out. And I actually had the Kida doll as a kid and I got her again recently, uh, not recently, like actually four years ago at a flea market. And that was a fantastic find. <laughs> um, but I love this doll. So cool that she came out. She was actually available for a ridiculously long time on the Disney Store website, which is kind of bonkers considering how unusual of a release this was. But to be fair, they did make like a lot of her, which thank you, Disney. Instead of making 500 of a character that everyone was anticipating. <clears throat> I might be wrong about the edition size on this one, by the way. But anyway, they made like a thousand or less of her. Kida, I think they made like, what, like 9,000? Maybe it was maybe it was 5,000. I don't remember. I have my wires crossed somewhere. But God, she's perfect. She also came with her staff, but I don't have it on her right now. Such a cool doll. Such a cool doll. And then back there, we have Tinkerbell. Need you to watch the review for that one because, my God, her details. <laughs> Look at her. 
her wings are so cool. I'm so glad they did a 17 inch Tinkerbell because the other designer fairies are designer size. So they're 12 inch dolls and they're amazing. They're some of my holy grails. I don't have any yet. Uh, but I really like that I now have a Tinkerbell that can go in this lineup. So she was one of my most recent dolls and I'm so happy that she exists because green is my favorite color. And as you can see, this is a problem for me. I'm trying to display them by color of their outfit, but all of them are blue. Everyone is in the blue family. Like look how many blue ones there are. <laughs> um, and then there's like a few reds, there's some purples, but like overwhelmingly it's blue. So um, having another green was very appreciated. I hope the color story improves going forward because of the way I display them. It's just so funny. They just keep releasing blue ones. And I'm, I don't even think I have all of the blue ones that they released during this time. That's what's so crazy. And then, well, I bought this one on purpose. This is the blue one. <laughs> this one was a grail for me. I don't really try to buy the older 17 inch jellies, like the ones that came out before because they're so ridiculously expensive. And generally you don't find them for sale out of box. This doll came up on Mercari. I was working three jobs at the time, I think. So I had kind of a surplus of money because I was always busy. So I didn't really have time to spend money. Um, and she came up while I was walking to like do freight at my job. And I just happened to check my phone, which I wasn't supposed to do tea. Um, but I checked it and I saw that this doll had gone down in price on Mercari. I paid, I think like 200. So she's the only one I paid over retail for. Well, except her, but that's like different to me. Um, Cause to me, retail on a D23 pickup should consider the price of the ticket and the time that they waited in line and stuff. I don't know. Um, but anyway, this doll I paid like, I'm pretty sure it was like 200. It was such a good deal for her because she's actually a pretty hard one to get. And I love Aurora's blue dress. Look at this. I think there's also a pink version of this exact doll, which is pretty cool. And I love her tinsel hair. This is just, oh my God, I love this doll. Thank God I have like the best Aurora doll ever made. So that's convenient. <laughs> and then back there, I wish she wasn't in the back row, but because of the color story and because her dress would be blocking too much if I put her in the front, she's back there for now. I'll probably move her to like over there eventually so that she can have more space to fan out her dress. Normally I have her displayed next to Giselle, but right now she's back there. Um, but this is Saks Fifth Avenue Cinderella. Probably my favorite one. She was a gift from my mom because she went on sale for I think 200 and then she went down even more at some point. And I actually have owned three or four of this doll because I did pickups for people in Europe. Um, so I would buy them and then ship them to them for the retail cost. So that was pretty fun. Um, and I love her. Her dress is awesome. She's like stellar. I'm so sad that Saks doesn't seem to do these anymore because my god. And I'm so sad that I missed out on the Frozen ones because they were so good. They were so beautiful. I would die to have them, but not for the prices. They are no, sir. I would actually pay more than retail for them, but not, not that much more. <laughs> and then Tiana, blue dress Tiana. I am pretty bummed about her release year um, or her anniversary year because normally they do like a platinum set, which I actually saved up for. You know how expensive those are? I think they're like 600 to $900, something in that range. I saved up to buy the platinum set because I don't play around with Tiana. Um, but they only released the one doll and I'm very grateful that they did a doll, don't get me wrong. But you know, if it was a Cinderella year, she would have gotten like four dolls probably. So kind of bummed about that. Aurora, during her year, legit got like four dolls, right? Because she got the pink, the blue, the she got a prince, and then she got the, um, and she got a Herod's special two-pack. I think it was Herod's, I don't remember, but there's a special two-pack, and then there's also the Rags outfit, or Briar Rose outfit, or whatever. So, yeah. Tiana got the one, but I love this doll. She's so fabulous. Tiana's my favorite princess, by the way. That's why I'm like, ugh, I wish that she had gotten more. But like, ooh, yeah, she's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. But there's only two 17-inch Tianas so far, so I really hope they do more going forward. With that new Tiana show happening, I think they probably will, because they usually do these to promote things. And then um, I really like her, but I wish she didn't have that eyebrow thing. Uh, and then back there is the Mary Blair Alice doll. She's really cool. She's kind of similar to the Britney Lee dolls, except she's not as, uh, she doesn't have the stylized face like them. God, I love these dolls. Sorry, I have to mention them uh, while we're next to them. Uh, but she's based on, like, the concept artist Mary Blair and all of her cool artwork. Well, not concept artist necessarily, but, like, you know, the artist Mary Blair and her work. So you can see her, like, style down here especially. Such a cool doll. So cool. Really, really good idea. I hope they do more like this. Beautiful. And I'm so glad because the other Alice doll, I think there's only 500 of them. And it's, like, the most expensive doll ever. So, yeah. And then we have Merida and her mama, Eleanor. This was another holy grail for me, like holy, holy grail. I wanted this set because it comes with Eleanor and that's like highly unusual to do a character like Eleanor. They were a little bit more brave with the character. <laughs> and that wasn't even on purpose. Uh, they were a little bit more brave with the characters that they would do back then. They don't really branch out as much anymore, unfortunately. I mean, they have started branching out to like 
characters that you don't really see dolls of usually, but not necessarily characters that like aren't main Disney heroines. I don't know. Um, but anyway, so I really wanted this set because I love Eleanor's design. She's really cool. Uh, but also this is the better Merida dress and there were only two Meridas and I didn't anticipate them making more Meridas. So this was a holy grail, unattainable grail, like something I wasn't actively seeking. It came up for sale. It went up for a bid and I fought for it and I lost by like $10 and I was so heartbroken because I it, the bid was up to like 300 to 400 ish um, and losing by $10 when you're in that scale sucks. Um, but then I was like, okay, it wasn't meant to be whatever. But as you can see, I have them because the listing went back up for auction like a week later because I guess the person who won didn't pay. So haha, sucker. I mean, thanks for not paying, but like, yes, I wanted them and I won them for even cheaper. I think I paid two fifty. So I mean, considering the retail of each of these, like each is like one hundred forty, I won so hard with these, and I'm so happy to have them. Oh my god, this was such a triumph. These are like really, really rare. I really, really wanted them, and I'm so grateful. So um, I got very lucky with my dolls that weren't brand new, like ones that I just bought at the store. Um, and then up front here, this is one of my all-time favorites too. That's why she's front and center. Um, well, also because her color fits front and center because we go from blue to like purple and she's kind of indigo-y. Uh, but anyway, this is the Jasmine that came out last year. So she is meant to be the less detailed D23 doll. And this is a scarf, I think, but I really like how it looks like this. It's so cute. Um, I like to change it around on display, but I prefer her to the D23 one. And no, I'm not just coping. <laughs> um, like with Snow White, I can see like, okay, I think I like the other one. Um, and with Merida, like, yeah, the other one, or like the D23 one is better, but like this one, I truly think she's better. I think the D23 one had too much going on. So pretty, so pretty. I wonder if she's still affordable because she, she's such a jewel. So good. Yeah, awesome. One of the best releases recently. She's really, really cool. Best regular releases, I should say, because like this happened recently. <laughs> and then back here, I have my Frozen 2 dolls. I used to have all the Frozen 2 ones. Well, no, sorry, not all of them. Not the D23 ones, but I had the movie poster, like, travel outfit versions, and then I had these. But I really like travel outfit Anna, but I did not like travel outfit Elsa. Like, I could not make myself like that doll. So I sold them both when I was hard on money. I don't regret that necessarily, but I kind of wish I kept the Anna, because the this Anna's fine, but her dress length really bothers me. Um, and I actually preferred the other Anna, but I love this set. I love Frozen 2. I specifically really love Elsa, so I'm really happy to have an Elsa. Especially one that I like. And the Snow Queen Elsa is really awesome. I think she's overhated, because... She's actually pretty good. Pretty good. And then, yeah. And also I put Bruni on her head, which I love. <laughs> she didn't come with Bruni. Uh, that came with the like deluxe set for the classic dolls. Um, and then this is Esmeralda. Like no notes, just excellent. It's just a really, really good like Esmeralda doll in her normal outfit, but with like a lot more cool details. I really love her. I think the materials they used on her are awesome. And I think, um, I think the Disney store like artists and designers, they realized to like, okay, we're not gonna make another Esmeralda doll. We're not gonna make another Kita doll. We're not gonna make another Megara doll. So we're gonna go all in and make her really special. And they really did. It really paid off. I think they did an awesome job and I'm very, very grateful for that extra effort they put in. The masterpiece. <laughs> and then this Rapunzel. Oh my god, thank god for this Rapunzel. The original Rapunzel, okay, I don't have her obviously, but she kind of has a face like this. Uh, she's she's a really cool doll, like her dress is unbelievable, like unreal how perfect it is, but she has that face. So I don't feel inclined to spend like 800 to like $1,500. That doll is really expensive because she's awesome, but her face is a disaster. So funny enough, this doll's dress is really common secondhand because so many people bought this doll just to put the other dress on her. I still don't think this face is as good as say this face, the like 12 inch version of the updated face, but I'm just so grateful that they changed the face because I was really worried when I knew there was going to be a Rapunzel year uh, that they were going to use the old face or something for the 17 inch. So I'm so glad that they didn't. And she's so cool. She reminds me of Tangled the series, like one of her dresses in Tangled the series. I love the flowers in her hair. Her face is, it's very, very cute. It's just not as like Rapunzel and as good as the 12 inch ones are. Um, I just look at this dress, it's so awesome. Such a cool design, so, so cool. And then here we have Megara, who I'm kind of terrified I called Merida earlier, just on the virtue of calling that one Merida a hundred times. So, well, that doll that is Merida. So I'm sorry if I did that earlier, but anyway, this is Megara. 
This one is so, so cute. I wish that her dress had had slightly more going on, like maybe a little bit like wider or something. I don't know. I wish the skirt fanned out a little more. But other than that, like, oh my God, she's awesome. Hate the eyebrow. Wish they would stop doing that eyebrow thing. See? And the eyebrows like up. It makes them less versatile for photography. And that's my favorite thing about these is photography with them. Um, but she's so cool. So cool. I'm so grateful that they did all these. You have no idea. Um, it's so funny that I have all these characters that they never do dolls of, but I don't have like basic characters like Mulan. Um, soon, soon with Mulan. The, the goal really is just one of each character. And if they release another one of a character that I like, I will grab them. Um, and I'm so glad they're doing, again, like characters like Tinkerbell, characters like Megara that they don't normally do because it means that like I have an opportunity to flush out my little display even more, which I love. And then back here, this is the D23 like basic version. So the regular release that doesn't have all the extra details of, I guess it's like Wedding Snow White. Very cute. This is my first Snow White and I'm very glad to have her. <laughs> She's beautiful, beautiful. Very, very cool. Her dress is really awesome. I don't mind that I don't have the D23 one. Like, um, although I think the D23 one is like better. I don't think that it's like that much better where it's worth the extra effort. Um, and yeah, really beautiful, really, really beautiful one. And then this is Elena of Avalor. She was one that, she was never expensive, but because I knew she was so affordable, um, I was being very picky about how much I would spend on her. And also anytime one came up for a good price, I have this really awesome friend, Drops of Indigo, who is like the biggest Elena of Avalor fan in the world. And she's always repping Elena of Avalor for me. She's always like, you gotta get this doll. And anytime this doll came up for sale, she would send me a link, but usually I was not able to get her at the time and it was always really a bummer. So finally this year, she sent me the link and I watched it for like two weeks until my paycheck came in and it would be pretty much responsible to buy this doll. And I got her! And I think she even went down in price in between that time. So I think I only paid like 70 bucks for her brand new in box. I don't know, I have a video where you can probably see how much I paid. I probably said it. Um, God, I love this doll. I wish that her eye hadn't been like that. That's the only criticism I have. She's like, a perfect doll and so cool that they did a Disney Junior character as a Disney Ellie. Like, how cool is that? Love it, love it, love it, love it. Really awesome doll. <laughs> so, so pretty. And I love her staff and I love her crown. Like, all of her details are so awesome. I kind of am tempted to get her partially repainted to fix the eye thing. Um, and then here we have D20, or sorry, ha! <laughs> regular release Vanessa. There's a D23 version. It seems like this one's more popular even though this is the more common one. This one I actually wasn't going to get. Um, I really liked Ariel. I really liked this doll too, but I only had enough money to like responsibly afford one at the time. I could have afforded both, but I was kind of like, I don't know if I should get Vanessa. And my mom was like, are you crazy? Get Vanessa. My mom really liked the Vanessa doll. And thank God she did, because I would have been so heartbroken had I not gotten her. And not because she got expensive. For me, when I say something got expensive, I'm really meaning like, oh God, now it's going to be hard to get the doll. Like, I'm not going to be able to get the doll because it's expensive. It's not that I'm like, oh no, I don't have the rare doll. I don't care how rare they are. It does not affect me. The only thing it does is make it harder for me to get the doll. So it's an obstacle that I do not appreciate. <laughs> um, so I'm really, really grateful that my mom vouched for me and bought her for me also. Let's be clear, my mom bought the doll for me because I was like, no, I shouldn't because the money. And she bought her for me and I'm so grateful because I love this doll and she's so, so cool. She's my only villain, huh? Yeah, maybe someday. They don't really do 17 inch villains anymore. And then we have Moana. This is Voyager Moana. I do have both 17 inch Moanas. One of them's new in box still. I actually have two new in box ones in this collection. Can you believe it? Um. This one, like I said earlier, I already kind of told the story, but she was a gift for my mom because we just happened to be in the Disney store and I saw her. And I was so obsessed with Disney Ellie's, but obviously I never even tried to get them because they were so expensive. And I was like kind of freaking out, like, oh my God, oh my God. Like I was just like excitedly rambling. And my mom was like, you want her? And I was like, eh, I couldn't, that's too expensive. Like, no, it's okay. And she's like, no, you want her. And she got her for me. She, it wasn't even that much of a discussion. She was just like, you want her, don't you? And I was like, it's fine. Don't worry about it. And she got her for me. And yeah, so she started this. It's my mom's fault. This is all my mom's fault. <laughs> Thank you, mom, because I love these. And I probably would not have started until a lot later and I would have missed out a lot of cool characters. And I'm pretty sure this doll is still like really affordable. So highly recommend you get her. Like literally the best one. Check this out. This is my favorite detail. Water droplets on the skirt, on the little leaves. How cool is that? And like dip dyed embroidery floss for the skirt. Like, oh my God. I've, I've talked about her at length, so. Um, also, the Heart of Tafiti opens, check this out. Like, what? <laughs> so cool. 
love her. And then over here, we have my aerials. So I don't like to stand mermaid dolls up next to like non-mermaid dolls. So like here they can stand up because they're swimming, you know, they're just swimming upright. But <laughs> just happened to come over here. My mermaids just happened to be there. Here it's like, if they're standing, it just is confusing story. So I have them sitting. Uh, so this is the aerial doll that came out for her anniversary the same year as um, Vanessa came out. Mine actually came broken. That's why there's a hanging chain. And I take her swimming pretty frequently actually like at least five or six times I've done that um for photo shoots and stuff so that's why she doesn't have a flower in her hair because I didn't want it to get hurt so I took it out um but as you can see she's like in perfect condition her hair could be conditioned though I uh, love her I love her she's like really special I love taking her swimming and stuff um and she's a hearty doll she can take it um and yeah I really love um how free it is because ultimately with dolls I don't care how much I paid for them um I kind of do obviously because it's annoying when I have to pay a lot more but this is the same as like a monster high doll to me in terms of my enjoyment of them so I'm not gonna I mean certain ones like this one like yeah I'm, I'm gonna be very careful with this one because I don't want to get hurt but this doll is just as hardy as any other doll there's some considerations like you don't want to scratch this but you guys need to free yourselves from the judgment of others I don't care if people are like oh my god I can't believe you would do that with an expensive doll I would never do that it's like okay be jealous I don't care I like <laughs> free yourself from it. Do what you like. It's your life. You possibly only live once. There you go. You get some life advice from this Disney LE collection video. <laughs> and then this is my newest Disney LE. This is the Halle live action Ariel mermaid doll. I've not seen the movie yet. I know people can already watch it, but I have a lot going on right now, so I can't see it until quite a bit later from now, I think, which is kind of sad because I really want to watch it, but um, I really like her. I actually used to have the live action Belle doll. I still have her dress. I don't have a Belle doll at all, but if I ever get one, um, she'll wear that dress maybe. I mean, it depends. If, if I like her dress that she comes with better, then no, but I kept the dress just in case. Or if I get a 17-inch singing doll, because I do actually like the 17-inch singing dolls, and I would display them up here. I do have the snow gear on but um like I already had another Anna that was wearing basically the same color so I didn't want them both just standing right next to each other because I try to spread them out if when I can if I have multiples of characters which I don't have that many multiples considering um but you can see like I separated those two I tried to separate those two yeah um I don't super like live action dolls like I'm not a big celebrity doll person but this doll doesn't really come off as a celebrity doll or a live action doll she's like really really well cartoonified and i appreciate it because my problem with la like um la live live action dolls is not that they're like of people like i think that can work i think there's a lot of celebrity dolls that actually work quite well but mostly it's because they put the head the head is the same size as these it's a little bit smaller and they put it on this cartoony body and they don't do all the blushing and stuff that is necessary to make a realistic head look realistic so they come off kind of uncanny but this one they did such a good job and i think she's really beautiful and her outfit's pretty awesome. I think that she is not detailed enough, uh, considering her price and everything, but, um, and it was funny because the Mattel deluxe collector doll or whatever is way more detailed and has more stuff, like, going on. Like, I wish that this one had, had the hair beads and the crown and stuff, but, I mean, just standalone, this doll is awesome. She's a really, really cool doll. I just think she could have been better. Um, all right, and then I have two dolls, like I told you guys, that I keep new in box, so let's move down. Alrighty, so now I'm going to show you my new in box dolls. I have two. Um, they're both new in box, mostly coincidentally. Well, this one is kind of a coincidence, but this one I kept in box on purpose, I'll explain. Um, so I don't resell my dolls. I know someday I'll be like dead and I guess they'll get sold then, but like I'd rather enjoy them than they'd be worth slightly more in the future. And they actually hold their value out of box too a lot, so I don't I don't care. I buy things to enjoy them. But I understand that a lot of people enjoy them like out of box or in box more than they would out of box but for me like there's no reason to leave them in box just because other people think I should so um there's that I just felt like I need to explain that because people are really annoying on videos like this but um they like to project uh anyway so this doll she's new in box this was another d23 pickup this is the d23 version so she has more detail going on and the reason I left her in box so and thank you so much to the dolly paints for her and the others like I really really appreciate that I'll never forget your kindness um helping me get these I did pay for them but the pickup process and everything was just so much less stress and I paid less than I would have on eBay and I just appreciated a lot that you offered that to me um so I really wanted to unbox this doll because I don't like her position in the box and you can't really fix it like I could cut the ties on the back of her head to try to fix it but I don't like how like her head is like unnaturally tilted upward it looks weird um so I don't know but then my mom was like I was talking about Jasmine and how much I preferred her out of box 
and my mom was like, or I preferred the less detailed version. And my mom was like, oh, well, maybe you shouldn't unbox Merida. And I was like, oh, yeah, it might be cool to have one of these in box, especially like a D23 one. That seems like exciting. Um, so I was waiting for the less detailed Merida because I like her. Like, I like her just fine. Um, this one doesn't have enough extra details where I'm like, this is such a substantially better doll. So I was like, yeah, I'll wait. Um, and when that doll came out, I didn't really have the money, but she stayed up for sale forever. So I wasn't worried about it. And I kind of flew too close to the sun and ignored her for a while she even went on sale at some point i think and i didn't even buy her so i missed out um i'm sure she's still not that expensive online but it's frustrating so um i'm still not sure if i am going to unbox this one or not it just depends on the other merida but i really want to unbox one of these because my other merida that came with eleanor i do really like her dress kind of i watch watch the review of those if you're curious i did a review on them it's kind of a mess of a review because that's before i cared about lighting and stuff but um i kind of explained that there's some things about that dress that are really off to me but this is like the ultimate merit at all she's awesome but still can't decide if i'm gonna unbox her or not so yeah and there's only a thousand of this one in the world and this is what the packaging looked like for the other d23 dolls if you're wondering so you can see a thousand and i don't have the plastic cover because I hate those things. I mean, I have it. I just use it to block a vent, actually. <laughs> so maybe I should unbox her. Please excuse the astromycines in the back. I was filming a thing with mycines the other day. Um, but anyway, so this is the regular Moana 17-inch limited edition. And this one was in my second doll, actually. I think my second, maybe my third. I'd have to double check. But um, this one, my friend at the time got two of them because the Disney store sometimes would just accidentally send people two when they ordered one because you can order two and then they would just like cross wires, I guess. And they accidentally sent two. And so my, um, my old friend had sold me this one for, I think like 70 bucks and my mom bought her for me. So I had two Moanas and my mom was like, well, since you unboxed the other one, can you leave this one? Actually, I don't think I unboxed the Voyager for a minute. I don't remember, but my mom was like, can you leave her in box? Um, and I actually super like this packaging, by the way. Like, oh my god, I love this packaging. So I was like, okay. So this one, this one's for you, mom. Um, I honestly kind of want her out of box now because she has an orange outfit and that would fill in my rainbow quite nicely. But the other Moana is like the ultimate doll ever made. So like, there's not really that much of a reason to unbox this one. But She's cool, and I really like how she looks in the packaging, too. And I, I just... Oh, yeah, I didn't point this out on Vo Voyager, but they have sandy feet. It's so cool. So, so cool. Love Moana. She's one of my favorite princesses, so I'm really happy to have both of her dolls that came out. And I got them both around the same time, and both of them were presents for my mom. So, really, really appreciate that. And also, funny enough, my singing Moana doll was actually a present for my mom. Um, she just randomly was... Because Moana was about to come out, and I couldn't go to the Disney store the day she went. And she was like, do you want anything? I'm going to pass the Disney store. And I was like, can you look for Moana? And she bought me the, like, expensive version of Moana, the singing one with the better outfit. Like, I didn't even ask for that one, and I was so excited about that. So, a lot of connection with my mom and Moana, I guess. Anyways, let's move back up. That is it for this video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I love Disney 17-inch LEs. I know they're very expensive. Um, and it was a long time before I was able to get them. Like, as a collector, it was, like, four or five years in. And um, it's really, really special to me. And I'm so grateful that I'm able to get them now. And the collection that I have makes me super, super happy. I won't consider it to be a complete collection until I have every character they released, every main character. There's some other ones that I'm not, like, holding my breath about. But, you know, like, I want really good collection like this and just please make jane come on disney i'm manifesting this jane i'll take like even just a classic doll can you make jane i think there's a copyright issue but like come on please i really like tarzan please figure it out you're disney you can do it you own the universe anyway uh let me know who your favorite is who your favorite princess is and also let me know if like if i showed your favorite princess in this video do you like do you like the doll of that princess or do you think there's a better one um or is there something about her you don't like? Let me know. I think that'd be an interesting question. Um, Because, like, Tiana's my favorite princess. That should be my favorite doll. But she didn't end up being my favorite doll. She's in my top percentage, though, for sure. Um, Anyway, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching for all this time. Bye!